how do we get it into our UI? Right? So if we go back to our storyboard over here, right now it's blank. There's nothing in here. There's only this background view. And I promised you that there was a var in, face, in this face view controller that pointed to this view. And I'm going to show it to you by right clicking on this. You see it right here? And even when I mouse over it, see how it's highlighting it? This is a outlet called view, just like you have an outlet called display in your calculator. This one is an outlet or a var called view, which is of type UI view. And it's connected to this thing right here. So it's automatically connected up for you. You don't even need to control drag it or anything. OK, but we're not going to be adding our view in code, so we really don't need that var. I just wanted to show you it was there. Uh, I'm going to add my view by dragging it out. And if I go down here to my palette, obviously I'm not going to find face view in here. OK, iOS didn't know about face view when it built Xcode. Um, but I can go down to the very bottom here and grab one of these. OK, this is a generic UI view. OK, not a subclass of UI view, just a UI view. So I'm going to drag it out and put it here. Now, I'm going to do a cool thing. Okay? I'm trying to show you bit by bit a little more of this constraints thing. So I'm going to take this thing, and I'm going to use the blue lines. Okay? I'm going to put it all the way up in the corner here. And then I'm going to put the other edge all the way down in the corner down here. And I'm using blue lines. You see blue lines appearing? Those blue lines are making this thing attach to well-known points. In this case, the edges. So I want my face view to fill the entire view. Okay, the entire view controller's view. All right, but just doing the blue lines isn't enough, as we learned. Okay, that's just kind of telling the system what you intend. To make it do it, you actually have to have constraints, like those things we control drag. So I could try and control drag to an edge, control down to this edge, all that. But there's an easier way. If you all did all blue lines, okay, and that's all you needed, you can go down here to the same place where you do update frames, and instead do Reset to suggested constraints. And that will use the blue lines to put some suggested constraints. Now, let's see what it did. You can see all the constraints on a view by going over to the inspector and going to this tab right here, which is the size inspector. And if you look in the size inspector, down toward the bottom, you can see constraints. You see them? And this is showing me all the constraints. And it put one trailing, that looks good. Leading, yeah. Top, nice. Bottom, perfect. So it put exactly the constraints I want because it followed the blue lines. Okay? So now I have this view constrained to stick to the edges. Perfect, because then when I go landscape or portrait, I think my bounds will constantly be being resized to fit the new shape. Okay? Now, the other thing I need to do is, this is a generic UI view. If I ran right now, it would come up blank because it has no draw rect. Okay? I did that nice face view draw rect, but this is not a face view. So how do I set this to be a face view? Exactly the same way that I set this view controller to be a face view controller. I go to the identity inspector, and instead of have, so here was when I did the controller, I click on this view, and instead of it being a generic UI view, you see, I change it to be face view. Got it? OK, so let's run. OK, it should work. Let's run on uh, iPhone 6, for example. And hopefully, we'll get the skull of our face to draw. All right, perfect. It worked, OK? So here's our skull. It picked the smaller of the width or the height. The width was smaller, so it picked it. It's drawing the whole size. If I rotate, uh-oh. Stretcheroo, OK? So that's this problem where the content mode of our face view is set to be scale to fill. OK, so it's scaling our thing. So we don't want that. So let's go back here and go to our storyboard and select our face view right here. Go to the attributes inspector. The very first thing is the content mode. And you can see it's scale to fill. And I want it to be redraw. In other words, when my bounds change, call my draw rect. So let's do that. Okay, here we go. Works in landscape, works in portrait. Okay, it's even switching from using the width to the height because it gets smaller. Right? Okay, sound good? Now, one of the thing that's kind of a bummer, here in my interface builder, I don't see my face. How come I don't see my face in here? And it is possible to make the face appear here, and we'll do that next week. Okay? Because it's nice when you're building your 
storyboard to be able to see your custom views in there.